Hey everyone, here's how to make a Y shake in Premiere Pro with no plugins at all in three steps. So let's begin by preparing our sequence. So make sure that your clip has been scaled in and that there are no black bars visible at the top, bottom, left or right. So this is before, you can see there are black bars visible, we don't want that and this is after. Also make sure that you have positioned your clip to the center of your character, so mine is right here. Then you want to nest your clip, so right click, nest and click OK. Next you want to create an adjustment layer, so right click here on your product tab, head over to new item, adjustment layer and click OK. Then add the adjustment layer on top of your clip and extend it to about 20 or 25 frames long. I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I'm just going to extend it like so. Search for the transform effect and add it directly onto the adjustment layer. Now what we're going to do is create a scale out. Click on the stopwatch next to the scale and set it to anywhere between 125 all the way up to 150. I'm going to go, let's go 125 for now. Then head all the way to the end but one frame back like so and reset this back to 100 then open up the graph by clicking on the little arrow next to the stopwatch and what we're going to do is pull this handle for the second keyframe so all you need to do is just simply select it and you're going to see this little bar down here you want to pull this all the way to the left making sure it's on level with the bar next to it so right there you don't want it too high or too low otherwise it's going to mess it up so just there right there perfect as a result you're going to have a very smooth zoom out and also a very smooth graph now it's time to make the shake so set a keyframe for the position at the very start of your clip so just click on the stopwatch right there and push the second value for the position down like so until you hit the edge so you don't want this black bar visible just make sure that's hidden like so perfect and i'm going to head one two three frames ahead and do the opposite so i'm going to push it up until we hit the edge just like last time, right there, perfect. One, two, three, push it down once again, like so. One, two, three, just there, perfect. And one, two, three, four, five, six, reset it by clicking on this little button, which then places it back to its original position, like so. Now you want to highlight all of your keyframes for position, right click on one of them, head over to spatial interpolation and select linear then highlight your last four keyframes right click on one of them head over to temporal interpolation and click ease in so far so good but we can improve this by adding on motion blur so if you scroll all the way down you'll see the shutter angle option so let's change this to let's go 180 for now and already you're going to see a massive improvement it looks so much better than last time if you want to go even further crank it all the way up to 360 and it will be much smoother however However, if you want a much more delicate shake then no problem just head to your second keyframe and pull this second value to the left so what you are doing is bringing it closer to the center but not literally to the middle otherwise it's not going to look as good so make sure it's away from the value 960 something like i think 1070 looks fine i'm going to repeat this with my third keyframe so instead of placing it all the way down to the edge i might just push it up very slightly just a few values higher so before it was 886 but now it's 950 i'm going to repeat this with my next keyframe so i'm going to push it down it's getting very close to 960 which is not what i want because that's reserved for the last keyframe and this is the result a very delicate y shake don't forget the preset pack is available for 20 percent off until the end of august the link is in the description below and thank you for watching peace